I'm Elizabeth Bogalt. I was the founder and the sole researcher for updating the War Memorial here, adding 32 names to the monument, 27 that had never been remembered. I am known as a very strong advocate for our fallen soldiers. Frank Shield was born on November the 20th, 1917 in Phoenix, Arizona to Frank Shield and Verdi Fernandes. They moved to Prescott when Frank Shield was three. At a very early age, he knew he wanted to fly. So at seven years old, he was making his own model airplanes with his own little sticks and doing all of that. While in junior high, Frank Shield formed the first aeronautical program here. In high school, he was known as the Flying Cowboy. His motto was, he would rather fly than walk. The Japanese Second Sino War started in 1937 and they captured all the port cities in China and only left the Burma Road giving them access to the sea. The American Volunteer Group is known as the Flying Tigers. They did 50 air battles and they defeated the Japanese each and every time. Frank destroyed seven Japanese planes. When you destroy five, you become an, an ace. It, they became the 23rd Fighter Group under the command of Colonel Scott. Then they divided into seven, the 74, 75th, and 76th Squadron, and Frank Shield became the squadron leader of the 74th. He accomplished over 200 reconnaissance missions. For two of his reconnaissance missions, he was recommended for the Distinguished Flying Cross and was granted one in September and one in October for these great missions. And then the Silver Star, but then the Chinese, who thanked um, just a handful of the pilots for the wonderful job they did there, and Frank Shield received two of their highest military awards, the Cloud and Banner, and also the Wing Star Medals. But the most important thing I think also is that the Army built a Camp Shield high on the mountain and it was for a rest camp for, the, for all soldiers, the Chinese, the American, and the British. And they could stay there for, um, rest for eight to 10 days. It was right on the lake, but they also had a swimming pool, tennis courts. They had everything they could think of in housing. Frank Shields, while in the 23rd Fighter Group and the leader of the 74th, he was promoted to major. Frank was on his way home from a reconnaissance mission in a very, very bad storm and very low uh, visibility, and he crashed, hitting a mountain. He died on December the 7th, 1942, the first anniversary of Pearl Harbor. And Frank Shield is buried at Mountain View Cemetery. I believe that Frank Shield needs to be honored and remembered here because he is definitely a legendary World War II aviator, and he is Prescott's legendary aviator.